Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix with an Atria. In this tutorial, I'll show you how I did the color grading for this very image in just Photoshop. So many of you are asking me to do a tutorial about how I achieved the nice and rich color grading of this image that I posted on Instagram. And this is a tutorial for you. And if I totally find it helpful, simply hit the like button on this video. So this is the image that I shot using a Canon 60 camera and a Canon 70-200mm f2.8 lens and if at all you are interested in watching the behind the scenes video it is the previous video before this one so right now this is the image and I realized later on after importing it into Photoshop that I had slightly overexposed it so it is a raw file and right now we are in camera raw so I'm just going to come right here and I first of all correct the lighting and contrast issues. And before I do anything regarding correcting the lighting and contrast issues, what I tend to do to get back the rich colors, the way I was looking at the image at the back of my camera screen, I'll simply change the image into the picture style in which I was shooting. So I'll just come to the profile. So this is for only people that shoot in RAW. So just come right here and choose your picture or camera profile that we are shooting in so i'm just going to come and choose landscape and you can see the colors get back embedded into the image so after doing this the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to correct the lighting and contrast issues so first of all i felt like the image was a little bit on the overexposed end so i'll just come and simply take down the exposure just like that and i'll simply come and reduce the highlights of this image all the way down and also recover the whites of this image and this looks okay the exposure now looks right so i'll simply come and add contrast to the image because i prefer images to be contrasted and after doing that this looks okay and this is a perfect start so this is a before after before after so when you change the picture profile of your images to landscape, it tends to oversaturate the images. So what I'm going to do, I'll simply scroll down and simply come to my saturation and slightly desaturate the image around negative 3. So it doesn't look oversaturated. So after correcting the lighting and contrast issues, I'll simply scroll down to my color mixer tool in camera row so if at all you're using lightroom you can use the same steps so under this what i tend to do first of all is coming to the hue so in the hues as you can notice you can see that we have a number of colors for example in the skin tones and the skin is not as matching as you want it to be so what i'm going to do i'm just going to first of all come to the reds because i feel like the Reds are somewhere belonging into a skin tones. So I'll simply come to the reds right here. And how the hue option works within the camera raw filter. The hue, as I'm taking the hue of the reds towards the right hand side, I'll be making the red color more like the color below it. And if at all I take the red slider towards the left hand side, I'll be making the reds look like the color or the last color right here which is the magenta so this is more of a circular kind of movement so if at all i'm to play around with the yellows for emphasis and i take the yellow slider towards the right hand side you can notice that it's going to make the oranges more like a color below it which is the yellow side and doing the opposite taking it towards the left hand side is going to make the oranges more like the red which is the color that is on top of the reds so I'm just going to reset it by double clicking right there so when it comes when it comes to or when it comes to this option what I basically do I'll simply make the reds more on the orange side to make or to eliminate the reds from the skin tone and I'll simply come and I take the oranges a little bit on the red side after negative 8 or negative 5 is okay so this is about it 
and now the skin looks okay and if at all you still have some red patches within the skin you can come and simply take up the hues of uh, the reds to make those red colors a little bit more on the orange side and that is going to eliminate the red color from the skin so after you have done that the next thing i'm going to hand or tackle is the green color right here so i'm going to make the greens or what i did i simply made the greens a little bit more on the aqua side just like that and after doing that i simply came to the saturation and saturation basically is the intensity of a given color so in the saturation slider what i did i came to the greens and i simply took down the saturation of the green so that the model can stand out and pop out of the surrounding just like that so negative 70 is okay then what i i did i also felt like the magentas or the pinks in the outfit were a little bit too much so what i did i came and desaturated the pinks just like that by taking the pinks or the magentas out of the image so this kind of balances the image and you can see where we are right now so this is the before and after before and after it is a huge leap so after doing that i'm just going to come to the luminance luminance is the brightness or darkness of a given color so by handling for example the magentas by taking the magentas towards the right hand side you're going to make the magentas brighter and taking it towards the left hand side is going to make the magentas darker so luminous is the brightness or darkness of a given color so what i'm going to do i'm just going to first of all intensify the skin tone by taking down the oranges just a little bit to have a more richer skin tone so this is okay and now i feel like we are having a little bit more of the shadows within the image so i'll come back to my basic panel and I'll simply open up the shadows of this very image just like that. After around 21, 21 looks okay. So this is basically what I did when I was color grading this very image. And you can see a quick before and after, before, after, before and after. So this is it for this video. And if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And by the way, after editing, simply press on open. Open the image into Photoshop for you to do the skin retouching and the final touches on your photo or your image. So I'll see you in yet more tutorials on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.